Welcome back to the CSR House Project Series. Well, our frame's up and now it's time to start creating the all-important building envelope. The exterior walls are the largest area of your house exposed to the elements, so thinking about what you use for cladding is really important for thermal efficiency. Cladding also really sets the tone for the aesthetic of the house. The walls represent about 60% of the look, so it's a great opportunity to get some texture and colours going to make your house really stand apart. There's a variety of cladding materials on the market, and we're going to be using a combination of them in the CSR house. We'll be talking more about other cladding options in the next webisode, but let's start with bricks. If you're building with bricks, they're one of the biggest choices you're going to have to make. How do you choose the colour, texture and size? Well, surprise, surprise, we've got a few tips. So bricks have been around for a really long time. I think the first ones date back as far as 7,500 BC, and for good reason. As a building material, they are hard to beat for enduring appeal and affordability. Bricks are made from natural materials such as clays and shales and minerals such as magnesium. And they're fired at temperatures of 1200 degrees Celsius to lock in that beautiful colour and to give them strength. Apart from their durability, they are also termite resistant, non-combustible, they won't rot or decay. So the beauty of bricks is that it doesn't need painting. It stays waterproof and age-proof with hardly any maintenance. The reason we chose bricks for this, for this display house was because uh, in the market marketplace there is a demand for bricks and people traditionally enjoy having bricks, bricks as, as their outside skin of their building. Bricks have a very high level of thermal mass. So we've used an external wall and used the internal wall in, in bricks with a high level of insulation between it to bring in thermal mass into the building. That will have a cooling effect in summertime and a warming effect in the wintertime because the mass will heat up when the sun shines on it and re-radiate that into the, into the, building, into the building's internal spaces uh, and keep keeping it nice and warm. Where we've used bricks, bricks on an external wall, it's simply because uh, it's, it's a, a fashion, fashion issue and we need to consider that most people are going to choose those bricks for a variety of reasons. One of the benefits of using brick, of course, is that you don't have to do any maintenance on it for 50 or 100 years. But we have to be cognizant of the fact that that wall or that building system has to take into place that the level of insulation that we put in the walls uh, mitigates the, the brickwork we're using on the outside. So we have to use a brick veneer situation, fully insulated, would give us high levels of thermal, uh, thermal barrier. To get that great mix of texture and colour, we're using two types of brick, a metallic look brick around the study in the rear of the house. The metallic finish on this brick actually reflects the light to create a real visual interest. And here around the garage, we're using a sandstock brick in a split format. A split's a narrower brick that's 50 mil rather than the traditional 76 mil. Added to this, we're using an unconventional bond pattern called stack bond. This element will add a modern twist to a timeless classic. There's no doubt that the right choice and clever placement of bricks is going to look great. But how good are bricks for thermal performance? Bricks are a great uh, building material from the point of view of passive solar design of buildings. They provide the thermal mass which is uh, necessary in terms of managing the temperatures inside, which in turn has a significant impact on saving uh, your energy uh, costs for heating and cooling of buildings. Bricks also provide uh, acoustic insulation. In other words, they keep the noise out, uh, and uh, in, particularly in areas where there are noisy surroundings, it's, it's of great value there. Uh, on a life cycle basis, however, it is one of the best materials because it has the capacity to be reused and recycled uh, over subsequent years, and as a result, provide a good life cycle impact value uh, as a building construction material. Now creating a bold exterior isn't just about bricks. Your choice of roof tiles, fascia and pavers all significantly contribute to the overall look. CSR have colour consultants who can help you not only choose the right colour and texture for your bricks, but also help you match it with roof tiles, fascias and window trims to create that stunning cohesive finish. Choosing the exterior colours for your own house can be a bit of a daunting process. You need to know what colours you're looking for, what you actually want your house to look like. You are going to live in it and it actually wants, you want it to really portray your personality. 
When you're choosing exterior um, products for your house, you're got, you have to think about your roof tile, the profile of your roof tile, the colour of your brick, the texture of your brick, and the proportion of colours over the house. Uh, if you have a single garage or a double garage, that um, will impact to the e external finish of the house. Choosing the colours for the CSR house was very exciting. Having the opportunity of choosing the selection of bricks from our old traditional type of brick, the sandstock, to our new metallic brick with that beautiful rich pewter colour. The mortar finishes in the bricks were, were very um, important as well, giving a very sharp edge on an iron joint on um, the metallic brick as on the sandstock a flush joint so it actually showed the rough texture of the brick. Then with the roof tiles, bringing in the darker colour to actually anchor the whole colour selection together. On the house, we've actually got Sementel and Hebel coming in. There'll be a little bit of render colour in there as well. Bricks not only look good, but with their low upfront cost and long life, they're still one of the most affordable cladding materials too. Now, bricks are just part of our cladding combination. We'll have more about other cladding materials later. But in the meantime, you can find out more about how fabulous our bricks are on pghbricks.com.au or drop into one of our display centres for a consultation. We'll be back soon with more progress on our CSR house. You can catch up on all the latest house and product news on csr.com.au or on YouTube. See you next time.